Recently I've made some reactions to the Canadian military and some operations it's been involved in in the past, uh, specifically World War II, but I said I want to learn more about the Canadian military, about any operations or anything to do with it, and someone recommended something interesting called the Highway of Heroes. Now they told me that this is actually a long stretch of road in Canada where fallen soldiers actually travel through, and along that road there's a lot of bridges where people uh, go out to pay their respect and things like that and I thought it was a really beautiful idea I want to learn more about it so they recommended this uh, video it's called Highway of Heroes Canadian Tribute to Soldiers and Family and this is If I Should Fall documentary so yeah tell me if you've seen this before tell me more about the Highway of Heroes uh, tell me if you've been out there to pay respect it sounds like a wonderful thing uh, quite unique, I think. I don't know anything like that in the UK. Maybe there is, but let's watch this and we can learn more. If I Should Fall, set this up for us. Tell us what this is about. The way we sort of approached the film was through telling the story of one, we want to tell the story of many. You know, like how do you tell the story of 158 soldiers? Through telling the story of one, we aim to tell the universal story of loss. We just wanted to be able to share some of the true stories of the people who, who have been involved with the Afghan war in, in several different ways. I felt so proud because I respect the suit. I respect men in suit. As a father, as a parent, you know, I was always scared of, you know, the moment that he will leave us. As much as I can appreciate any of the applause that is given for me receiving this award, I'd like to uh, direct that applause towards the soldiers who this film is about. One of the big things about this film that I want to be able to get across is that I want to be able to take the theme of Remembrance Day beyond Remembrance Day, as simple as that sounds, and that's something that every Canadian can be a part of, so. Absolutely. Brendan Culleton, director of If I Should Fall. Find out more at ifishouldfall.com. Bears for Mark, and uh, there wasn't uh, no way that I wasn't gonna be, you know, like it was everything. Everything Mark's given to me, it's time for me to give it back and to be there for him and to carry it and make sure that it's done honorably. I thought about his family, I thought about Mary. I never got to carry him off because of my rank, but I got a chance to take his medal. And to me, that was you know, just as good as carrying his, his casket. There's no, no greater honor than uh, carrying somebody that uh, died for the country. Your friend, you can't beat it. It's the worst feeling ever, it's the best feeling ever. Oh, the worst feeling ever, the best feeling ever. Actually, really heartbreaking. Uh, yeah, I, I can't imagine what that must feel like. That's why I feel like it's such an important thing to pay respect to soldiers, what they go through is unlike anything else. Like you see this, their friends being taken, having to carry them. Uh, yeah, really, uh, really hard. But like the fact that Canada has this thing in place to pay respect to them is, is quite wonderful. Uh, let's continue. You can't speak for anybody else, but I mean, for me, it would be an honor to die for my country. I'm sure everybody else has signed the dotted line would say the same thing. I mean, you have to go above and beyond yourself. You put everybody else first, because if you think about yourself, you can't do your job. Such a strong mentality. It was 
unbelievable, you know. Like as soon as we left uh, the base, and you see people with, with, with all these signs, holding signs and saying thank you. It was unbelievable to see all these people, you know, come out and, and salute at this young hero. There was like 12 bridges that we passed under and they were full of people. People that left their, their homes, their, their left their jobs, they took days off to just be there, you know. I mean, that is it. That's what it's all about. So that's obviously what the person who recommended this mentioned to me. This road has all these bridges, but to see so many people go out, to see it like this with hanging the Canadian flag, what a wonderful mark of respect. Like, a, a lot of credit to these people to take yeah, time out of their day and go and do this. And yeah, tell me if you did that before, what's it like to actually do it? Like, I, I got, I, I said, a lot of respect for the soldiers, but a lot of respect for these people as well, just to, to do that, man, such a special thing. I feel really hurt inside. Just like if you lost one of your own, you know, that's how much I feel, you know, it gets me. It's my way of, of respecting the families and the soldiers, and uh, I don't want them to think that it's something that they've done where nobody cares about. It was, it was great. It was amazing. I just couldn't believe it. It really touched a lot of us, Lebanese immigrants here in Canada. It, it was, it's, honestly, it's a, it's a, Canada, it's a, it's a good country to die for. You know, after, after seeing all this and, and experiencing uh, how soldiers are uh, treated and it was, it was great. Dying for a good cause is something and dying for nothing is something else, you know. Uh, here, these soldiers die for, for, for other people's freedom, and that's a big thing. That's it's amazing. It's amazing. So yeah, things like that are always interesting to watch because it's just like, you feel like every emotion like 
fulsome like, happiness and pride of how the the people are respected, but obviously incredible sadness. And you see like those young men and women's faces, and you just think about uh, what they actually went through, like and they lost their lives for their country. Like as I said, it's like it's like so hard to like categorize it into one thing like because it, it you just feel so many different ways when you when you see things like this but it's like a beautiful beautiful tribute of course it's uh an amazing thing that the people go out there and like uh pay that respect in the way that they do but just like when you just think about the people who lost their lives ah oh, it's just it's just hard uh so yeah, really amazing thing that happens in Canada. Again, like, I've not seen anything like this in any other country. Uh, but, yeah, just very uniquely Canadian. You see even that person who obviously has Lebanese background just so so proud to be Canadian uh, because of this and just the Canadian people's spirit in doing this. Uh, so, yeah, wonderful, wonderful tribute. Tell me more about it, your experience of it, if you have any. Uh, thanks.